One of the things that occurs when you sort of in an isolated community with an isolated issue, you think it's just yours. So I think I was at the first or second RPAP conference that was organized. And what it really brings you, a group of people, oh, you're dealing with this, we're dealing with this. It's not in isolation. How big's your community? How many doctors have you got? It really, it really helps to deal with that issue to find out what others are doing and how the struggles are going because <laughs> it, it's not just a single um, community. So I, I've been to two or three of them, but what I've encouraged other people from our committee to go, and I think virtually everybody that's on our committee has been to an RPAC conference and they all come back going, wow, that was a great conference. So to try to re-energize people saying, yeah, this is why we're doing this, we're, we're doing good things, but maybe we could do this or to hear other ideas. and they. RPAP is getting better at bringing, because uh, this was new for them to do at a conference. So they're bringing people to the table, they're bringing different voices into those conferences that sometimes they might be in slight conflict <laughs> with each other. Uh, but they are, they're bringing people to the room that need to be there so other people hear those conversations and they hear the conversations back from the community. So, um, it's just a good experience to, to share and learn from both ways. I would suggest to any community, if you're not connected with RPAP and if you're not going to a conference, you're missing great resources there. So RPAP is, is, is a good resource and a good connection and a facilitator to other communities.